a while since you guys have seen the Cuda, and well, we're still working on the old girl. Uh, next part, we'll have a rear end, and we'll have it back on the wheels in the next part because we found a, the correct rear end. Right now, we're going to go ahead and put this together. This is basically the part I've been dreading for a while. I finally harvested this piece out of the roof skin because they don't make this, apparently, and I had to cut it out of that and grind it everything else this piece is all cleaned up it has a weld through primer and some rust converter stuff on the inside she sets in here just about like that and we're gonna go ahead get this welded then get we'll get this welded then weld this piece on the top of this one and make sure our measurements are right and start tacking this roof skin together so we can well tacking the roof structure together so we can take the roof skin off weld all that stuff and take the quarters off pretty good except for down here it's kind of pushed out we'll fix that in a minute pull this in with a clamp here it's fitting good we're going to undo this screw here and here because this is supposed to be on the inside and not the outside i messed up there or wait a minute maybe i got it right, right. on that side it's supposed to be on the outside i had it on the inside on this side when i did this piece earlier you guys can see and Well, should be able to just, oh, there we go. Ooh, that's hot. That's what we needed right there. Now she fits. I got to remember, when you weld things, they're warm really warm there as long as I don't knock you guys down we got her in there now this piece is gonna have to come loose it bolted back here and welded all of this so nothing would move it's welded into here and there we're gonna remove this quarter panel again for like the 500th time I believe Maybe 600. Okay, there's gotta be a clamp there. And there is. I knew it. We now can access all of this. And well, I already see the out. trunk hinges on this side and all this is already lined up. Need to put some more weld back in there. We had to grind it out a while back to change some things up. This needs to be pulled in a little closer. This needs to be adjusted. And I think this goes in between these two layers. This goes on the inside, I believe. So we'll fix that in a minute. And through here, we have to pull this back in, like I said. Pulled that out to uh, redo the wheel well. It was out of line just a little bit. Didn't take long, we got all that welded. We still have, that weld looks bad because there was a hole on the other side, but we're gonna go back over this and put some more welds through there. We're gonna throw the quarter panel back on now that we have the trunk floor extension in there. And we're gonna test fit the uh, extension for the tail lock panel, make sure this fits. And we're gonna weld the drip rails for the trunk in and weld the Dutchman panel down so we have that set and we're going to remove the quarter panel again and go to the other side. We'll fix all of this after we reset the quarter panel. We just want to make sure everything's going to fit one last time before we make all this official. And then we're going to test the door fit again because you never know sometimes when you weld just a few things, everything oh, changes. Is. When we tack welded this in a second ago, it's a little bit too further too far back we're going to slide it forward a bit drill that weld out and the, break the other one loose she should fit after that down here she's not lining up 
we've had problems with this trunk floor extension ever since we started putting this thing together. We've never really got it exactly fixed. Still lines up good here. We're gonna do some adjusting and weld this down. So far, everything looks around good. a bit. Now we're gonna jump over to this side because if you look over here, we've got all of that welded up through there. And we're gonna do the same thing to here so we can put this piece in. We've got this in there the right way now. And the roof skin's not lining up perfectly right here. Main reason is because I got it screwed down over there and the roof's kind of pulled this way. All the measurements check out, so we're good there. Guess we're gonna go ahead, drill a hole here and a few holes around here and probably take the trunk lid off even though I don't want to. And weld this uh, trunk gutter down to the tail light panel so when we remove this quarter, we don't have to mess with all that again. We should have done it over there, but we did. As you can see, we got our hole drilled there. We got this piece pulled back into line and we're gonna fill that with plug weld. Everything here is still lining up. This bottom part's a little bit low. We'll fix that in a minute. And we're about to go through here and drill our holes to weld that trunk gutter in because if not, we'll have to do the whole alignment thing again with the, this quarter panel. Plug weld is done here. You can see we rechecked the gap in the uh, trunk lid. Some of you guys asked for more detail. That's why we're going into more detail right now with a few things. I've already put sheet metal screws in the uh, trunk gutters. I forgot I did that. So we don't have to worry about that. The other thing we're gonna do is come down here and put a good tack weld right here so we don't have to worry about the tail light panel moving when we take that quarter panel off. them things welded in the roof lined up where we think we want it we're gonna test fit the old quarter panel one more time then take her right back off probably because we got to address all that and tear this old roof skin off and finish welding some stuff i think i've already said what our rear end will be here sometime next week so hopefully we'll have a video here pretty soon with the rear end on this in this thing the front end on this thing and her on the ground because she ain't set on four, four wheels in over 50 years which is kind of crazy there's an art to doing this I ain't no good at it. She's a little bit off. <laughs> As you can see, the door. Well, that looks a lot better. Bad gum. Door's still a little tilted down. We'll fix that. Up here, it ain't all the way against it. That's an easy fix, too. Now it's time to adjust that door. We got the door skin on there. At least I think we got it on there. Let's see how the door closes. I think it hit up there and not too bad. We do have a gap here. Well, this needs to come down. We have a gap here that's pretty good, but you can see it gets smaller at the bottom. And that reason is because this piece here, already knew this was gonna happen. This could have to be drilled out 
on the back side where the bolts are because the same way with how the front aprons are doing, they're assuming this right here is the bolt hole. It's covering that much of it and not allowing the bolts to set in the proper place up or down. And that's where you get some of your slide movement. But it's not hidden that it's awfully close. Once we lift it, we'll be good. We're gonna roll her back there, clean up our mess, and we're gonna put that hood on it. I don't think you guys have seen the hood yet, but we have a hood. It came from AAR quality fiberglass. Gonna put the hinges on it and basically align the as I remember. We'll sit there for now, maybe. Hopefully it don't try to jump the ship. Doing this one person is kind of a pain. May leave a little, couple scratches on the back side of it, but nothing major. Moment of truth, we'll see how well she closes. Now, you guys can't see much there. We'll move you on back. Still ain't got the best view in the house, but it'll work out for now. Let's let her on down. Yeah. Well, it ain't as bad as it could be, but it ain't great. Uh, you need to go that way with it. There we go. Sometimes you gotta leave the bolts a little loose so you can, you know, maneuver it. See now, way too close here. It sunk too far down on that corner. As you can see, back there in that back corner, she's a little low. And you can see she's not lining up here. We'll fix that in about two Line seconds. Line the front end up. It's time to take it off again weld the inner fenders and stuff in then we'll put it all back on one more time hopefully just one more time and after we do that that should be the last time we have to put it together it's easier to adjust the fin i mean not the fenders the doors without the fenders on because we have this gap here and same way on the other side and this door's not setting high enough i made them marks in it when i was messing with that we'll fix that though and we're going to get the a pillars all lined up all this welded that in there welded and we may even address this while we have this apart because that has to be fixed because it looks terrible. And I'm sure people have already pointed out the uh, antenna does not go here on an AAR. It goes in the back and we'll do that. So instead of talking, we're going to straighten out this area here because it's got a crease in it from when it was wrecked. Woo. Woo. I think we got her hot enough. If you 
use the hammer, you leave a bunch of little marks in it. It looks like we finally got this side where it should be. We had that the wrong way. We had it behind that for some reason instead of in front of it. This one's the same way. And now we're going to fix this side. We have to take that uh, shock tower off because this frame rail, when they made it, they did not put the revision or the cut right here so that can set down. So it's not going to set right. We'll fix that here in a second. Boy, the edges are sharp on that. Pull this loose. Well, I beat it on there pretty good with a hammer, I guess. We have one side of the inner fender in. They're not fitting real good up around the top of the uh, shock towers. Reason being is, well, first of all, they're not an AMD part. They are some eBay part because, well, when we ordered these things, we could not get AMD ones and these do not fit right. I've had to do some trimming on them and a few other things to make them, you know, fit halfway decent, but in the back here, they really don't want to fit. So we're having to use a little port of power, just push them in a little bit. I mean, it ain't real bad where they're not fitting, but it's enough to make it where they ain't gonna fit that makes any sense. process. You gotta be careful not to dent it because it just don't want to fit. Why is that? Probably because these are about, from the AMD part, these are about half the price. I think under half the price of what an AMD part is. AMD is a little bit higher than most stuff, but Lord, it fits a lot better. the final teardown for this car and the next time we'll be put the back together for the last time. And now it looks a whole lot less like a car. Just like that, 
put this where we don't mess it up. And there we go. You got a door off of there. That makes it 10 times easier to do. Oh, Lord. This is still full of, I don't know what I was in this door. Oh, man. That door's a good 60 It works. Everything in here is done, except for welding the trunk pan in. This is gonna be the last of this video because, well, <clears throat> the rest of this stuff is gonna take at least another few days and I wanna get, get you guys an update on this. We still have to finish that trunk floor extension. We gotta weld it in there. This side's already tacked and welded in. This quarter panel's good to go. The doors line up. So in the next video, we're gonna have this car painted Maybe not the whole car, but at least the floor pans and everything. And we're going to weld the quarters on, weld the roof on. One reason we're stopping here for right now is we have to get, you can see the missing roof structure pieces on that side where it's open. We have to get them and a few other things before we can finish her off. But she's starting to look real good. Fenders and everything are over here. We're going to body work them pretty soon. We're about to move them to the other side of the shop so they're out of the way. We have to work that door. But thank you guys for watching and well, we'll have an update in about a week on the car, and also we got some more Will It Runs coming to the channel.